Hello, welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami. Um, we're gonna continue from where we left off last time, which is, let's see, I think that would be chapter 11, right? Yeah, I think I just allowed it to autosave. Honor and humanity, okay. So actually, I really want to uh, find Majima in this episode. Uh, I forgot Shinji and Reina died. I forgot Shinji and Reina died. Reina was one of my favorite characters. Akemi? So that Shinji was Tashkani so it did. Shikaji, son Nanama and Onna, Ikura de Mirzo, Soreda Giana. Yeah, so the money. Huh? Nishki among me no Tanaka no Kashirawa, Jitsua Fuzo Kuzgidena, Shitaga, kill you. Mana Kokonan Nenka, Yatsuna Kayotir Misegar. トーゲン教ってソープだ。そこのナンバーワンが確かアケミ。なるほど おじさん。ソープって何うん。あ、ドントークアバウトイト。その。まあ、風呂やだ。いや、サウナか。俺に振るな。戦闘ってこといや、それとも少し違って、その。おじさんは行ったことあるのうん。あ、ああ。まあ
Why don't you? He must be hiding in these orange cones. Boy. What? Hmm. Nani. <laughs> Warriors of justice who have banded together to wipe this child. What? Teach you and your kind of fear the name of the game masters. What? <laughs> okay. this area I look like to you? An errand boy? I'm errand coon now. Why is that guy sitting there all sad looking? Right. Well, I'm just trying to find Majima. Hmm.
Isn't that gum over there? Boy. see any other giant cones though. It has to be that giant cone. Fifty thousand experience points. Mm, okay, let's see. Oh, 
Oh no, the gangbusters again. <laughs> Gang batters. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the weirdos. What about that guy with the sign? mystery either. Nani. This isn't looking good. There's a recent hardship ring any bills. Then we must go deeper. May I see your palm once more, sir? I must see this too. <laughs> are flooding into my mind. <laughs> Did you recently have a harrowing yet thrilling experience? <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that car chase thrilling, but ah, phew. I think that was more descriptive, right? You could see all of that in my hand. I mean, some recent events like th those do come to mind. Not everything was perfect, but you got pretty close. No, no, naturally, sir, based on what I've read in your palm, I have some news that will literally change your fate. Sounds pretty dramatic. Indeed. If you have a few minutes, I can change your life. Let's hear it. Uh. Something that can change my life? Let's hear it. <laughs> a wise choice, sir. Someday you'll look back on today and wonder how you ever lived before it. Right this way, please. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't really know about this. My name is Nakaya from the Society of Saints. This is our society's team. Wadasan. <laughs> uh, okay. It's an uh, honor, sir. Eh. Okay. Do you know, Iwadasan here has led an incredible life. He sequesters himself in the mountains of Basque, meditative for local monk hunts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Madari Bakasu. What? Mada, what? <laughs> Peaceful pair. No need to remember it. I see. Kiryu-san, I apologize if this is out of the blue, but do you believe in fate? Mm. Hey. Fate? Yes. The belief that events are set in stone and certain things are preordained to happen at certain times? Mm. Nope. I've always believed you forge your own path in life. Maybe when I was younger I fell into that trap once or twice, but I've matured since then. Mm. Perhaps you should have trusted yourself then, because, in truth, every chance encounter, every third of fate on Earth and within the universe is controlled by one god. You don't say. You don't seem fully convinced, so let's assume for the sake of argument that it's true. With that in mind, what if we told you that a person's fate could be changed? If I said that we have the power to alter the future, would you be interested? <clears throat> I'd say you're crazy, but I'll hear you out, I guess. <sighs> of course. No man alive could resist that kind of power. Just between us, if you had the power we possess, you too could weave the strands of fate to suit your will. Nani. What? Yes, the Society of Saints is the warden of a mystical art to view the world differently. 
You see the life itself through rose-colored glasses. Rose-colored, I... yes. By donning a talisman imbued with a piece of an ancient ore known as the Life Stone. The cosmos themselves will surround you with happiness. Top-level athletes, famous politicians, even award-winning movie stars all owe their success to this wondrous artifact. Well, that sounds pretty hey. incredible. It was none other than Iwata-san himself who had discovered it. You did? Yeah. Indeed. I guarantee the Life Stone's positive energy is real. Hmm. You claim this would bring happiness and the rose-colored view on life, but I think that's all pretty vague. Very well then. If happiness is the question, did you hear the news that Momo Momoka-san, the celebrity pop idol, just got engaged to a normal, everyday citizen? What are the chances of a celebrity falling in love with some everyday salary man from the city? How could he have manipulated the threads of fate to see his dream realized? Hi. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey. Ninety-nine thousand yen. Ninety. <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah. Eh? Uh... I really don't want it. Yeah. Huh? I told you no. to regret this. Hello? I'd like you to pummel this Yakuza looking type that's walking on. Right about now. <laughs> uh, bad idea, Iwata-san. Is that really the best you had? <laughs> eh. uh? Okay, five thousand yen. He's the one your smile burger. <laughs> Send it to the item box. That's true. If you don't have any bad parts, you'll never enjoy the good parts.
Let me improve my body. Traffic cone is huge. Why would it be in the middle of the street like that? Nani. What the? Yay! I finally <laughs> found Majima. Surprise! <laughs> Why does this music get so happy? Majima-san. Hey, Katie chan mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Is the office? <laughs> oh, sorry. Just waiting for the day when you would find that the cone exposed. Mm -hmm. Uh, then your surprise attack failed. As far as hiding spots go, this is hardly your best one. Yeah. <laughs> this was perfect. Mm -hmm. What? You rolled up on me knowing I'd assault you. In other words, this fight is totally consensual. <laughs> so that's logic. That's the logic. I guess I walked right into your trap then. I sit in that damp cone for so long, I got all stiff and cold. You better warm me up good, Kiyu chan I guess it is what it is. I'll beat you so hard, you'll wish you stayed in there. <laughs> I... I need a heal, actually. But let me just... <laughs> kick him up. <laughs> I win. Pet, you're getting stronger one step at a time. It won't be too much longer before you're just like your old self. You're not going all out just yet either. Are you? <laughs> what fun with beating you to a pulpy. I like to take it slow when I'm having a good time. But other hiding sp spots up my sleeve. You're wrong if you think this is over. So wrong. <sighs> You're really gonna keep doing this. Oh crap. Like crap. That's what, you ha what happens when you stand in one place so long. <laughs> How long has he been hiding there? You should have found me sooner, Kiryu-chan. I'm gonna walk this off. See you later. Okay. Guess I'll have to be more careful of more than just giant traffic cones in the city. <laughs> Learned Majima sensor. Alright, so I completed what I was aiming to do in this uh, episode, which is to find Majima and fight him. So I will see you in the next episode, where we go to that place where we're supposed to go. In Pink Street. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.